हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्वांटम स्टैटिस्टिक्स व्हाट इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ बोसॉन्स एंड फर्मियॉन्स सो बोसॉन्स आर indistinguishable and identical particles as we have already discussed and they have integral spin that means the spin angular momentum is ms h square is equal to 0 h square 2 h square and so on and the bosons don't obey the pauli's exclusion principles they have symmetric wave functions and examples are bosons examples are photon phonons etc whereas for fermions they are also indistinguishable ident identical particles with odd or half integral spin that means half 3 by 2 pi by 2 etc and fermions obey the pauli's exclusion principle and they have anti symmetric wave functions and the examples are proton neutrons electrons etc so in the bose einstein distribution law how the bosons can be distributed in a system so let us consider a system of bosons having total number of particles in and these particles are identical indistinguishable and non interacting particles and the ni particles are to be distributed among the gi quantum states each having energy epsilon i so the number of meaningful arrangements for which ni is indistinguishable particles are to be distributed among gi sub levels without any restriction on the number of particles is given by taking the permutations of ni plus gi minus 1 things out of which a group of ni things and another group of gi minus 1 things are arrived so the thermodynamic probability or the number of microstates for any given macrostate w is equal to ni plus gi minus 1 c ni that means ni w is equal to ni plus gi minus 1 factorial by ni factorial into gi minus 1 factorial this is the thermodynamic probability of the b distribution law and in the case of fermi derivative distribution law consider a system of fermions having total number of particles that means that is n so in for the fermions we assume that the these particles fermions can be divided into different quantum groups or levels having energies epsilon 1 epsilon 2 epsilon 3 and so on and the number of particles in these levels are n1 n2 n3 and so on respectively let gi represent the degeneracy of the energy level epsilon i since the particles are indistinguishable and the fermions obey the pauli's exclusion principle so only one fermion can accommodate in one cell and the number of meaningful ways in which ni fermions can occupy gi quantum states is equal to the number of ways in which ni things can be taken at a time gi different things this is equal to the gi c to the power gi c ni and the thermodynamic probability corresponding to corresponding to the fermi derivative distribution law is equal to the gi factorial by ni factorial into gi minus ni factorial now what is the bose einstein and fermi dirac distribution function the probability distribution function f epsilon that a boson can occupy a state of energy epsilon turns out to be f b epsilon is equal to 1 by e to the power alpha into e to the power epsilon by kt minus 1 here alpha is a constant which is equal to the mu into beta beta is, is equal to 1 by kt as we have already discussed beta is equal to 1 by kt and alpha is equal to the minus mu beta where mu is the chemical potential in thermodynamics chemical potential also known as mole partial 
molar free energy which is a form of potential energy that can be absorbed or released during a chemical reaction or phase transition so here alpha for the b statistics bose einstein statistics alpha is denoted as minus mu beta and mu is corresponding to the chemical potential and for the fermion the probability of a fermion turns out to be f fd is equal to 1 by e to the power alpha into e to the power epsilon by kt plus 1 here alpha is equal to the minus ef by kt ef is corresponding to the fermi energy of the system so when uh here the alpha depends on the properties on of the particular system and may be a function of temperature t in both the cases the b and uh, the bose einstein distribution function and the fermi distribution function in both the cases when the epsilon energy is very very greater than equal to kt then the function f epsilon approaches uh, that the Maxwell's Boltzmann statistics. How is that? When epsilon is very very greater than kt, then the plus one in the denominator part, the plus one or the minus one can be neglected, and it turns out to be Maxwell's Boltzmann statistics. Now, in general, combining all the three statistics, we can write. That a epsilon is equal to a i by g i is equal to one by e to the power alpha plus beta epsilon i plus k, where the constant k, when the k is equal to zero, it corresponds to the mb statistics, and when k is equal to minus one, it go it goes to the b statistics, and when we take the k is equal to k is equal to plus one value, it is corresponding to the f d statistics now for fermi rate distribution law as we have already stated that if fermi rate f d epsilon is equal to 1 by e to the power alpha e to the power epsilon by kt plus 1 where uh, for epsilon f is equal to alpha by kt the fd epsilon is equal to half this is called fermi energy the fermi energy epsilon f is defined as the energy of the highest occupied level at absolute zero temperature now in terms of epsilon f we can write a fermi rate uh and fermi uh, distribution fermi rate distribution law can be written as 1 by e to the power epsilon minus epsilon a by kt plus 1 now consider a system of fermions at t equal to t zero and investigate the occupancy of states whose energies are less than epsilon f and the greater than epsilon f So for the case one, that means when the t is equal to zero, just look at the first picture, figure A. When the t is equal to zero and epsilon is less than epsilon a, that means the a epsilon, when Fermi rate distribution law, its value is goes to the one. First look at the figure A. When epsilon is less than epsilon a, the a If epsilon will be one value, and when at t equal to zero, epsilon value is greater than epsilon f. That means the epsilon value is greater than Fermi energy value. That means the f epsilon. That means the probability. Uh, that means the Fermi rate distribution function is goes to the zero. That means at epsilon f, the less than epsilon less than epsilon f, the uh, distribution law, Fermi distribution law is one, and greater than epsilon epsilon greater than epsilon f, 
it will be zero. And when the t is is equal to t is greater than zero value, and if sinus is equal to if sinus if that if f d as a function of epsilon is equal to the half in the figure b and c we can show that at a lower temperature the distribution log curve is uh, sharp but for the higher t value higher temperature this distribution curve looks like a flat now the uh, are, uh, we have to uh, uh, investigate that what is the fermi distribution law at t goes to the zero k zero kelvin as we have already discussed in the previous slide that when e greater than is equal to ef fermi energy that means the distribution function is zero and when e is less than ef the Fermi distribution is equal to the 1 and it is depicted in this figure. Now we have to consider the t equal to greater than 0 k. In that case, we have shown that at E equal to EF, that means E at the Fermi energy level, the probability of occupancy the particles is that means the Fermi level is that energy level for which the probability of occupation of the Fermions at t greater than 0 is half. That means 50% of the quantum states are occupied and 50% quantum states are empty. And the energy range is around uh, 2 kT. Now, we will discuss the variation of Fermi energy function with respect to the temperature. When the temperature is low, suppose there is a t is equal to 100K, the distribution is looks like sharp. But as the temperature is gradually increasing, that means the curve is going to be flat. Now, using the Fermi statistics, we can estimate that behavior of free electrons inside the conductors. The most important application of the Fermi distribution law is in predicting the behavior of free electrons inside the conductors. The collection of these free electrons form a short of gas known as Fermi gas. And the total number of electrons in the metal within the energy range E to dE plus dE can be written as N, N as a function of D, epsilon dE is equal to G epsilon into F epsilon dE. Now, using the familiar distribution law, we can find out that the number of particles uh, or fermions can present, can be, uh, can occupy the G number of states. Now, Using the, the above formula, we can estimate that the Fermi energy of a in a metal at absolute zero temperature is equal to the H square by 8m bracketed 3n, n is the number of particles by pi b, b is the volume of the gas, uh, equal going to the power 2 third. And the mean internal energy E bar in a metal at absolute zero is equal to E bar is equal to 3 by 5 EF. This is the relation between the mean inter internal energy of a free electron and the Fermi energy at absolute zero. Now, in this slide, we will discuss how the three distribution law is can be depicted in graphical presentation. So, for the maximum improvement statistics, we know that the classical particles are identical but distinguishable and the distribution function is 1 by 
1 by a into 2 to the power e by kt and this distribution uh, curve with respect to e is plotted like that. Uh, it is depicted in the left side image and the middle one is corresponding to the uh, Bose-Einstein distribution law and it is written as 1 by a into 2 to the power e by kt minus 1. The boson's particles are identical in distribution with integer spin. Whereas the right for right handed the last graph is showing the Fermi linear distribution curve where the f, f, f as a uh, function of energy is equal to 1 by a into 2 to the power e by kt plus 1 where the fermions are identical indistinguishable with half integer spins. These are the graphical presentation of the three distributions law. Now, in the last slide, I will discuss the comparison of the three statistics. There are some similarities, there are some differences. In a one slide, I just discuss, I will discuss the comparison of the three statistics. As all of you know, that the uh, classical particles are identical, distinguishable, but for the boson and fermions, they are identical and indistinguishable. For the boson particles, they do not obey exclusion principle, but the MD particles, they obey the exclusion principle. The category of particles, the MD Boltzmann statistics, the particles are classical, and bosons can follow the mu statistics, and fermions can follow familiar statistics. And properties of material particles for the Maxwell's Boltzmann statistics, any uh, the particles can possess any spin or they they do not possess any spin. Particles are far enough apart with each other, so their wave functions do not overlap. But for the bosons, they have symmetric wave functions and they are integer spin particles. And for fermions, they are spin half particles and their wave functions are antisymmetric to interchange of particle levels. And the example of uh, bosons, uh, bosons, that means classical particles, molecules of a gas, and boson is a phonon, photon, etc. And the example of fermions is electron, proton, neutron, etc. Mm, now, in the fourth, uh, fifth part, we have written the distribution function for each cases. And the properties of distribution. In the Maxwell's Boltzmann distribution, there is no limit of uh, particles can stay per state. That means any particle can stay in any energy state. In the Bose-Einstein statistics, no, no limit to number of particles per state. That means more particles can stay in any energy state. However, in the fermion, fermi uh, distribution function, only no, never more than one particle can stay in one state. So, here the all the lectures and the classic statistical mechanics uh, are ending. And thank you, students. <laughs>